Hi everyone, my name is Anna and welcome to Cactus Caffeine. For today, I am going to pot up these two trichocereas that I have here. So these are the trichocereas that I got from Brent Wigan from uh, California. So if you haven't seen that video, I did a three-part series of my interview with one of the growers of hybrid trichocereas and Echinopsis. Um, his name is Brent Wigan. So if you haven't seen that videos or those videos I'll put a link up on the screen and down in the description below So these are among those that I got from him So I got several cacti from him, but I will be showing you how I will repot two of them I actually got eight, but um, It's too long if I show you the repotting of all of them. So I have here one big one and one small trichocereus so this is the trichocereus hustler okay this is the one with the ma big magenta flower and this one is dutchman's gold this has a bright yellow flower so i'm sorry about the lighting it is actually seven o'clock at night as i'm doing this video this is the only time that i can make a video because it is summer right now and it is so hot so it's 7 14 p.m and look at our temperature it is still 106 degrees fahrenheit <laughs> yes so this is the only time you know that i can go out and do some Thing in my yard before I lose daylight so anyway let's start with this potting up video so let's start with this small one this is the Dutchman's gold okay so I usually for um, spiny cacti like this for small ones small spiny cacti I usually use tongs this is the salad tongs as you can see it is slightly curved so I like that because it hugs the cactus so um as opposed to using the uh, flat tongs for grilling that can actually squeeze the spines and break them but I find this uh, um, useful in fact I saw another grower she uh, he uses a um, mason jar tongs because that one is also curved so he uses mason jar tongs to handle his cactus okay so here is the first cactus whoa look at those roots very good root system on the gist trichocereus trichocereus usually have a very extensive root system so they need a lot of room to grow for their roots okay so I am loosening this soil I see that based on what is coming off the soil has a lot of uh, lava rocks in it some uh, fine bark as well actually let me get my handy chopsticks found it okay so I just want to loosen up the roots a little bit so I'm not going to go bare root on this one because I can see that this soil that he used is actually good I like it so I don't mind it you know staying in this cactus but I just want to loosen up a little bit because uh, especially this part because if you don't loosen them sometimes it um, it's hard for the roots to actually grow out of that clump especially if it's root bound so if you just stick this in a bigger pot what would happen is a few years from now if you try to repot it you'll see that this actually stays that shape and it sometimes some cactus find it hard to grow out of that root ball so loosening it a little bit will help so in the process of course can't help it you're going to break some roots but this trichocereus this is very very uh, resilient very hardy so some broken roots 
is actually not a big deal for this cactus it's not gonna mind it it'll actually thank you <laughs> later on because it's uh its roots will be able to spread more all right we're making progress we're making progress some uh practice root trimming so that is also good because it promotes growth of uh, new healthy roots but in my case i don't really practice root trimming because just because of my climate here i have a very hot and humid environment and root development takes a long time for me <laughs> yeah so it's not gonna kill my cactus it's just gonna uh, delay its growth because it's gonna have a setback you know trying to form new roots so i don't really practice root trimming i take off what seem or looks like dead roots or i just tug on it like this and whatever comes off you see here whatever comes off so that means those are not really or maybe they're dried up roots so those are the only ones that i take off but if you live in a humid you know climate where it's easier for the cacti or any plant to form roots in your environment then root trimming is a good practice as well okay so i think we are good see this is good enough for me so we'll pot this up in the new soil so this is my soil a lot of you have been asking me what kind of cactus soil do i use i just use one that is straight out of a bag i don't have i used to have a favorite brand but lately i've been buying other brands as well so as long as um it's a gritty mix for me that's what i go for and um, i try to get soil that doesn't have peat moss in it so that's the only thing when i buy a brand of soil i look at the bag and as long as there's no peat moss in the ingredient of the soil then i get it the uh thing i don't like about peat moss is that it is so hard to when it dries up it is so hard to rehydrate again <laughs> and in here in my environment my cacti soil usually goes bone dry so if the soil with peat moss goes bone dry it is so hard to hydrate it the water just sits on top of the soil and it takes a long time to penetrate to the bottom of the pot and if you're like me who has a lot of potted up cactus I have no time to wait you know for the water to seep to the bottom and then I keep coming back and water it again so I try not to use those with peat moss although other growers like peat moss because I think although fact check me guys but I think peat moss is a, a little bit acidic so cacti likes um, acidity in the soil so that's one good thing about peat moss but as for me i prefer not to have peat moss this by the way is um what brand is oh this is the kellogg brand i will show you on the screen a picture of the bag i like this one because it has pumice in it this is the only brand of soil cactus soil that i found it has pumice in it those white ones they're not perlite they're actually pumice and also this has dehydrated poultry manure <laughs> so that is its fertilizer it's organic so i like that for this soil and it's a little bit sandy too okay it's a little bit low so we're just gonna tap it pull the cactus up a little bit as you tap it and then i'm going to add more soil By the way, the pot that I am using, this is plastic. This is not terracotta. So I decided to use a plastic pot on this because I realized 
trichocereus are actually thirsty often <laughs> they like to be watered often they're like echinopsis they like a little bit more water compared to the other types of cactus so during the summer if because i have about 90 percent of my plants in terracotta pots but i found these trichocereus since they want more water I am trying this out and putting it in a plastic pot which actually has the color of a terracotta pot so it will blend but we will see this is actually the first time that I'm going to do this for a trichocereus plant it in a plastic pot all right and then just grab I uh, will just grab top dressing all right so i'm adding top dressing this is just pea gravel and um, i like to use top dressing because not only for it to look more pleasing or for aesthetic purpose but also it helps me prevent the soil from you know floating to the top because cactus soil usually is light and if i pour water in it the tendency is the soil would float and spill over the pot so this keeps the soil down and also it helps retain moisture in the soil a little bit longer which is what I need here in my very dry and arid environment all right now let's proceed to the bigger trichocereus now for this big boy right here it is too tall that the camera cannot actually take the whole uh, cactus in the frame but it's okay I will tip it over and you're gonna be able to see it better so as you can see here the tip it gets etiolated or it's stretching for the light it's actually needing water <laughs> i have been watering less this past few days because it's so hot <laughs> i usually try not to get out more uh, this past few weeks because it is so hot so much as i want to water two times a week sometimes i couldn't because like i said even if it's nighttime it is still hot so what i'm doing is i'm tipping it over so this is just a piece of cloth i'm gonna wrap it around it so the tongs i cannot use my small tongs for this because this is so heavy I'm afraid it's gonna break my tongue so I'm just trying to loosen it so I can pull it out of the pot there you go it's coming out slowly there you go all right the soil is wet because it actually rained yesterday so I'm just going to get the pot actually on second thought um, come to think of it this soil I think I will mix it with my soil because I remember Brent said he uses uh, chicken manure as a fertilizer in his soil so this actually is very good because it has chicken manure in it so I'm going to use this although the brand of soil that I'm using also has dehydrated poultry manure I think I will mix some of this in my soil as well 
Okay, I'm back. So I turned on the light and I grabbed some more iced coffee in here. <laughs> and here is my pot. Ugh. Whew. Okay. So it's getting dark very fast. So we have to work faster. So here is my pot. It is a big pot. So it has a big hole. So I have this screen to block the hole just to prevent the soil from coming out or going out of the pot. So at the bottom, I'm just putting back the soil that it was originally in. So I'm going to mix this with my own soil. So here is my pot half filled with soil and then here is my cactus in here and um, I loosened up a little bit the roots but not too much okay and then we'll add more soil I'm sorry if you cannot see the whole cactus or the entire ouch the entire cactus in the camera because this is the highest that my camera would go So this soil might be too rich for those of you who live in a place where it rains a lot. So you will want to add more grit to your soil like pumice, lava rock, perlite, whatever will make it more draining. But for me, this is okay because everything dries up fast here in my climate where our humidity is almost always less than 10%. It seldom goes over 10%. So this is okay for me, a little bit rich, richer soil. Good morning, everyone. So it is the next day. It got too late last night for me to continue filming. So anyway, here are my two pots now finished so last night what i just did is i added some top dressing and rocks to this pot so this is the hustler trichocereus if uh, you can tell the pot is a little bit big for the cactus for now but um, i purposely did that because trichocereus i'm not sure how big this one will grow but some of them grow really very tall and also they form a lot of pops so i expect this one hopefully i think by next year it will start forming pops so eventually it's gonna fill up this pot and with a big cactus like this i don't want to be repotting it every year <laughs> so i wanna i want this to last in that pot for as long as i can before i would have to move it to a bigger pot and then this right here is the Dutchman's Gold Trichocereus. Alright, so I won't be watering this. I will give it probably a week before I water it again because the soil was damp. Maybe this uh, small one, I'll water it in um, maybe after three days. But when repotting as much as possible, you don't want to introduce water to it right away because you might have damage the roots no matter how careful you are you know you're bound to damage some of the roots and if you introduce water right away it might just cause some fungal infections and cause root rot so i'll give it a few days before i introduce water to these guys right here all right so that is it for my video today guys i hope you enjoyed it and if you do give me a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed yet and you enjoy um, cactus and other desert plants, hit the subscribe button below. All right. Bye, everyone. Have a great day. And until next time, bye and cheers.